Republicans are increasing pressure on Democratic leaders to reopen the House as lawmakers debate elements of the next COVID-19 virus. This comes as the House Majority Leader abruptly canceled plans to bring House lawmakers back to Capitol Hill. One America's John Hines reports. Capitol Hill conservatives are continuing to speak out against what they say is a lack of Democratic leadership by refusing to call the House back into session during the COVID-19 pandemic. We ought to be considering what Democrats used to preach constantly, and that is that poverty kills. We're driving some people into poverty, and a $1,200 check when they get laid off for a long time isn't going to do the trick, even though there's unemployment insurance. Won't quite do the trick, says Texas Congressman Louis Gohmert, who is speaking out, saying that it's time for the House to get back to work and for lawmakers, by their actions, to be a testimonial for the rest of the nation in this challenging time. We need to get America going again before it's too late. We end up with anarchy that leads to a totalitarian socialist society because we know that communism has killed more people in world history than any other force. It's time to avoid the anarchy, and we can do that by getting America going. Getting America going, says Gomert, And he points out that we should get back to work, but be sensible about things. Social distancing, testing for the virus, and wearing masks, and so on. But, as a matter of fact, Gomert thinks politics very well could be a factor here and looks toward the Obama years as proof for that. We know from the estimates of the CDC that during at least two or three years of the Obama administration, we had seasonal flu that estimated to kill 30, 40,000 or more, and uh, even 60,000 the first seasonal flu year that uh, President Trump was in office. And Democrats didn't say a word about it back then. So me thinks there is something ado here about the election. Gomert adds that the plan being implemented by Texas Governor Greg Abbott to begin gradual opening of Texas businesses with the first phase lasting from now until mid-May should be a model for other states and localities. John Hines, One America News, Washington. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.